It's an exciting day for smartwatch ticks. You know, in a previous video, I told you that I had ordered a special cable that I needed to replace uh, in my ZG PAX S8 smartwatch phone, right? That's uh, this one right here. Because the uh, USB port kind of busted on me and I got the part and I fixed the watch and I've even changed the watch face and everything is working perfect. Well, not only did I buy that cable, but just in case it didn't work, I ordered another, yeah, another one of the watches. I mean, they're only $114 and uh, this took 13 days from the time I ordered it to show up. And we're doing another unboxing. There it is. Android version 4.4. <laughs> There's the watch. Looks beautiful. Yeah. We've got all the other goodies. We already did an unboxing of this before, but oh, looky, looky, I got the European version. Wee hee. That's all right. I got plenty of these chargers, but always good to have an extra one for when you travel, right? And uh, of course, the little cable. Oh my goodness. It's the mini USB, which is exactly what we need for this particular watch. Okay, let's take a look. Now, the reason I'm really excited about this is because, as many of you know, there's three different versions of this watch out there. There's the original, which is what I got by being an early adapter. Then there's the original with a firmware update to it that supposedly corrected a problem that they were having with the uh, Google Play services. Although it wasn't much of a problem for me because I could do a bunch of different workarounds and got a lot of the things I needed working anyway. But there was a firmware update to it. And then finally, there was an actual hardware update to the watch, which integrated a different camera into the unit, which is actually higher resolution at two megapixels, even though they called this one five megapixels, it was really lame, like, I don't know, one. But the two megapixel was a decent camera upgrade. What I don't know is what I got, because you can't tell the difference by the appearance or the descriptions on the website. So let's see what we got. We're gonna open it up. We're going to find out, first of all, if there's enough juice in it to turn it on. The top button is the turn on button. And if it has a little bit of battery power, we'll boot it up. Otherwise, we'll set it aside and charge it. You won't have to wait, but I will, and we'll come back. Aha! It's turning out completely different. It's saying Android. We'll have to boot that one up and show you what it looks like when it comes up. Let's turn this one off. Let's just do a restart. This is good. It means it's different, first of all, from the operating system that's on the original watch. It's taking a while, but that might be because it's initializing. This is rebooting, so in just a moment you should see the difference. Wow, okay comes right up into the watch face. This one's supposed to have restarted. Hello, there we go. See, it comes up with ZGPAX, the company that put this out. That one started with Android. Well, we may have just a little bit of battery on here. See that? So let's open it up. Here's exactly what it looks like from default, okay? Phone, messaging, people, and camera. Browser gallery settings lock screen, which is basically the uh, watch faces, email, file manager, music, and sound recorder, clock, alarms, calendar, and calculator, backup and restore, downloads, Facebook and Gmail, Google settings, maps. The Play Store, which is what we use to install all the apps, and Search, S, the SIM Toolkit to do, and Videos. Okay, we're back to the very beginning. Those are the default stock apps as they're installed. We're going to go into Settings. We're going to go all the way down to System. 
we're going to go all the way down to About Phone, and it's an S8 running 4.4.2 with that baseband kernel and build number. This is where we're going to find out whether or not this is a different firmware. So we're going to come back into here. It's got so many apps in it that it takes it a while to load up the interface. And there's the dots going across the bottom as it loads up. And we need to find the system. You notice I left the right hand area open. That way I can flick it without accidentally opening the folders. System apps. Settings. We're getting close. I think it's in settings. Right there. Don't go out on me, you. System. I hope the camera's holding focus. I'm not watching it. Clap your hands if it changes, okay? Okay, there we go. Model S8, 4.4.2. The baseband number. The kernel number, 3.4.67. And the build number. Look at that. It's different at the very bottom. It ends in 185 over here and in 088 over here. There's a different uh, firmware in the new watch. And that also is... Uh, you can tell and there's something going on because the font sizes are different, right? Can you focus, camera? Let's tap on you and see. Okay, there's that information on that one. There's that information on that one. Okay, so first of all, we know that this has a different firmware in it. That's good. I'll be able to do some comparisons between the old watch and the new watch. So sorry about the focus. It's kind of a dim day and it's having a hard time holding it. Come back here. Another thing we want to check is in the camera. So let's go back and find the camera. Okay, I have the camera open on both of the watches now. This is the original, this is the new one. And we're going to look for a moment at the different settings. They pretty much look like they line up. The font is bigger on the uh, newer watch. Exposure, color effects, scene mode, white balance. Aha, image properties is on the old one. It's not on the new one. And here we could do things like saturation and brightness and contrast. We could change those. That's not appearing on the new one. And we have anti-flicker. Okay, that's interesting. We're going to go to uh, the next one where we have on the old one face detection, smile shot, which we don't have on the new one, self-timer. Here's where we select the picture size, 3 megapixel, 5 megapixel, which is very misleading because those were interpolated. I'm sorry, I think it's too bright on the uh, camera for, to see all of that, right? There, is that better? Sorry. Okay, so you had the picture size selection, but you don't have that on the new camera software, just face detection and self-timer. And on video, we had microphone, audio mode, time-lapse interval, and video quality. So there are differences between the two cameras. We'll have to look carefully to find out if that means uh, that this is set in the higher resolution and only one resolution available in the new watch. Uh, but definitely the camera app is different. So we have a different firmware, we have different camera app. So it definitely two different watches. And uh, now that we've done that, I can move the pillow out of the way that I had to put here to block the imaging so you could see a little bit better. And I want to show you the gold and the watch, basically. This is the old one, and I've been wearing that thing pretty much extensively. And this is what it's looking like. Not too worn. This is the new one. And it's looking, of course, great because it's brand spanking new.
It's holding up really well, in other words. This I've had for several months now. This one is brand spanking new out of the box. All right, get ready for some interesting comparisons between these watches. Now that this one's working and this one brand new is here.